Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my June favorites for you and actually I don't even have that many products. I really did just stick with a lot of my basic products this month or I was just trying things here and there and they just didn't stand out as favorites so hopefully this will be a short little video um, but I still have some really good goodies in here. So yeah, uh, keep watching if you want to see what products I've been loving during the month of June. Okay, so first up I have a product that I actually received at Gen Beauty back in May, but it's only been the last few weeks I actually brought it out, put it on my vanity, and said, okay, I need to start using some of these new products that have come into my life, and it is the Physician's Formula Super BB Insta Ready Bronzer, and it's just in bronzer. It says 1G on the back. That might mean something. I don't really know, um, but there's basically there are three or four four shades of bronze in here. There's like a dark, a yellow, a, like a lighter one, and more of like a mixture of them all. I actually swirl my brush in the entire thing and then put that on my cheekbones and around my hairline. I actually use my Real Techniques blush brush. I found that that works the best out of any brush that I've tried out for this bronzer. If you are fair and you struggle with finding a good bronzer that's not too intense for you, this one is definitely a great option. But another way that I've been using it is I've actually been using it either swirling it all around or picking up this, the darkest shade, and putting it in my crease. When I'm in a rush in the morning to get ready for work, I just do that to put in my crease, push something in like shimmery on the lid, I'm done. So it's actually a multi-purpose product, which I really enjoy. Um, but yeah, if you're very fair, definitely give this bronzer a try from Physicians Formula at the drugstore. Now, moving on to something a little bit more higher end. Um, I did get these at Sephora. I ended up picking up two lip glosses from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got the shades Vintage, which is basically a cream with a very slight shimmer in it and then metallic rose which is definitely more of a glittery gloss shade i love these like obviously i love them because they're in a favorites but like the scent of them is amazing it's just super sweet and lovely the texture is amazing not sticky whatsoever um I just, I love the way that they feel on the lips. They don't separate. They last a relatively long time. And I'm sorry, look at the pigmentation. This is insane for a gloss. Like, you, it's basically a liquid lipstick that's just really shiny. Um, but yeah, they're not sticky at all. I just, I'm just so impressed. They were $21 a piece, which I know is pretty expensive for a gloss, but... These are nicely neutral shades. They have some other crazy shades. They have like purple, golds, it's it's insane. But I am so impressed with these lip glosses. And then lastly, yeah, that's right, three products. That's insane, beauty related. I have one non-beauty related favorite as well. And this one's kinda, I have three products, but it's just a trend that I've absolutely been loving the month of June and it's light blue colored nail polishes. And there's three nail polishes that I've been really enjoying to kind of achieve this trend. So for the lightest of the shades, I have this OPI nail polish from the Alice in Wonderland collection and it's Oh My Majesty. This is the most beautiful opalescent nail polish that I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's basically a light gray blue toned base, but then there's a duochrome shimmer that is going like a rose gold and a gold. It is so pretty. You do need three coats to get, you know, complete opacity, but it's worth it. This shade is definitely a standout from that collection from the Alice in Wonderland through the Looking Glass collection with OPI. The second one will go with the medium toned in these, but they're all light, lighter shades. It is the Avon Gel Finish 7-in-1 Nail Enamel, and this one is in Rain Wash, and it's just a perfect pastel blue, um, but not a baby blue. It has some gray in it, so it kind of makes it a little bit more modern, and it really, it doesn't make it seem so babyish or, like, childish. Um, it's just such a sophisticated take on the trend, and I'm just so happy, especially with the formula of this. I don't know about the gel thing, because I use Sesh Beat every time I do my nails anyways, but... This applied super well. I am so happy with this color as well. And then lastly, more of, you know, a little bit more of a bold light blue. Um, again, it's from OPI. OPI is my favorite 
um, nail polish brand around, but it is also from the Allison Wonderland Through the Looking Glass collection. It's the Eyes Have It. Um, and again, it's just this perfect, like, light blue. It's showing up a little bit brighter right now as I see in the viewfinder, but it's just so pretty. It's like a periwinkle, light, leaning light blue. So it's not periwinkle, but it's definitely leaning in that sense. Just a beautiful cream finish. Two coats were perfect. Okay, so last but Certainly not least, I have something that's not beauty related. I said that this was a short video, but yeah. Um, and it's something that I started doing in the last few weeks, um, and it's running. I started running again. I ran, I used to run a few years ago. I was training for a 5K, and then I kind of just gave it up. I don't know why I stopped. I should have just kept going because I do really enjoy running. Um, but when I started running a few years ago, I needed to train for a 5K, and I was like overwhelmed with how the heck do I do that? And again, this time around, I want to do it more for a health benefit, not a 5K. So I don't really have the goal of 5K, but rather I just want to get healthier and lose some weight. It's an app, and it's the Couch to 5K app. It looks like this when you're about ready to do a run. Um, but you can just search like C2 5K in the App Store on an Apple device. Um, but basically what it is, it's an eight-week program. There's three days per week that you have. And what it does is it basically increases the amount of time that you're running with each week. It slowly builds up your endurance, which is fantastic. Because if I was to go out and say, let's go run a 5K right now, I wouldn't be able to do it and I'd get discouraged. So this app really helps out with that. If you feel like it's a little bit intimidating, you could start with this and yeah, and if you want to, you can always repeat a run if you feel like you're not ready to, you know, get to that next level or the next week of runs. They also have a 10K one, but let's be serious. Let's start with the 5K and then I'll maybe move to the 10K. So yeah, so that, those were my favorites this month. There really wasn't that many. July is going to be a fantastic month. I have to say it's my birthday month. Um, so of course I am a little bit biased, but July is the best month of the year. Um, let's see what else is happening. Pride's happening. Um, let's see what else. I have some birthday parties. I have my birthday party and I'm going to Vegas and Palm Springs. So that's how I'm going to be celebrating my 30th birthday, Dirty 30, in Vegas with one of my friends, Celia. Um, we're doing Vegas, and then I'm driving through the desert to Palm Springs by myself, just as kind of like a little self-journey type thing, and just to relax and take a little bit of break from work. Um, but yeah, I highly suggest that you connect with me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter, because I will be posting up a storm, especially on Snapchat when I am away during my trip, and you will not want to miss the antics that me and Celia get into, because they should be pretty fun. Yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day, and I hope you have an even more amazing month of July, although I can't say that your July is going to be mine. Mine's going to be pretty awesome. Okay, guys, have a great day. Bye!